A perplexing planet has captured the attention of both researchers and space enthusiasts alike. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has just released the clearest image of Proxima B ever seen, raising questions about the secrets this distant world might hold. Could it support life? Let's dive into the discoveries made by the JWST. Looking back billions of years into the universe's history, the JWST allows us to observe how galaxies formed. With its advanced capabilities, we can explore the farthest reaches of space, capturing infrared images unlike anything the human eye has ever seen. Just like how a Snapchat filter alters the appearance of an image, the JWST's ability to filter and capture specific wavelengths of light gives astronomers a unique way to study the early universe. This tool helps us understand the birth of galaxies, stars, and planets, and even analyze the atmospheres of exoplanets for signs of extraterrestrial life. The JWST has also provided groundbreaking insights into the evolution of the universe. For example, astronomers have discovered more mass in the universe than previously thought hidden within massive galaxies. Most recently, the telescope revealed the clearest image of Proxima b, a planet orbiting Proxima Centauri, the closest star to our Sun, located just 4.24 light-years away. The discovery of Proxima b in 2013, which was based on the slight gravitational pull it exerted on its star, was exciting due to its proximity to Earth. However, Proxima b is a very different world compared to ours. It's about 30% more massive than Earth, meaning it's bigger. But despite its size, the planet has an incredibly short orbit, completing a full revolution around its star in just 11.2 Earth days. This is because Proxima b orbits its star, Proxima Centauri, at a distance of only 7.3 million kilometers, less than 5% of the distance between Earth and the Sun. You might think that such a close orbit would make Proxima b unbearably hot, but Proxima Centauri is a small red dwarf star that emits far less energy than our Sun. If you were standing on the surface of Proxima b, you would see Proxima Centauri as a dim red sphere, about four times larger than our Sun. If the planet lies within its star's habitable zone, it could have conditions that might support liquid water. However, before you start packing for an interplanetary journey, there are some important considerations. Proxima b is likely tidally locked to its star, meaning one side always faces the star while the other side remains in constant darkness. This would create extreme temperature differences between the two hemispheres, making it a hostile environment for life. Furthermore, any water too close to the star could be vaporized by its intense radiation. On the other hand, if the planet were farther from its star, it would be too cold for liquid water to exist. Additionally, Proxima Centauri's small size causes its nuclear fusion core to be much closer to its surface, resulting in violent and turbulent surface activity. This activity generates powerful magnetic fields that produce high-energy radiation and particle bursts, posing a significant threat to planets like Proxima b that orbit within the star's habitable zone. While researchers had some data on the magnetic field conditions around other stars, they were largely in the dark about the specific conditions around Proxima Centauri. Until now, a recent study using high-resolution magnetic field maps has provided new insights. The study revealed that Proxima b experiences radiation from the star's solar wind that's up to 250 times greater than what Earth encounters. This radiation would make survival for any potential life forms extremely challenging. In fact, a flare from Proxima Centauri in April 2021 was 2,000 times more powerful than the most intense solar flare ever observed from the Sun. The possibility of habitable conditions on Proxima b may seem exciting, but the reality is much less promising. Despite its proximity to Earth, Proxima Centauri's volatile activity could make it an inhospitable world for life as we know it. However, human curiosity about extraterrestrial life remains strong. In late 2020, an unusual signal was detected coming from the Alpha Centauri system, which includes Proxima Centauri. This signal, detected at a frequency of 9,827 MHz, doesn't match the usual frequencies associated with Earth-based satellites and spacecraft. While some scientists speculate that the signal may have been caused by human-made equipment, others continue to speculate that it could be evidence of intelligent life. In the pursuit of reaching Alpha Centauri, Scientists are exploring ways to reduce travel time from thousands of years to just a few decades. 
One such project, Starshot, aims to send a spacecraft to Alpha Centauri using powerful lasers to propel it toward its destination. However, the main challenge is Earth's atmosphere, which distorts incoming laser light, making it difficult to generate enough power to propel a spacecraft. The authors of a recent study suggest that adaptive optics could help overcome this issue by allowing small lasers on satellites to track atmospheric conditions in real time. This would enable ground-based lasers to focus more effectively on the spacecraft. To achieve the required speed, the spacecraft would need lasers generating 100 gigawatts of power, equivalent to the total energy consumption of the United States. Although the lasers would only need to operate at full power for about 10 minutes, this approach would require the use of 100 million lasers working in unison. The Starshot initiative aims to push the boundaries of space exploration, making journeys to distant stars like Alpha Centauri a reality. In the end, while Proxima b might not be the next Earth, it continues to inspire questions and curiosity about the potential for life beyond our solar system and the challenges that space exploration will face in the years to come. At an impressive speed of 20% of the speed of light, a shuttle could cover a distance of over 10 meters in size and reach Alpha Centauri in just 22 years, assuming the lasers powering it are switched off. However, the sun's gravitational pull and interstellar debris might slow it down significantly. Even if the spacecraft reaches Alpha Centauri, it would still take about four years for its transmissions to reach Earth. One of the biggest challenges in space exploration is preventing the spacecraft from overheating, which requires the rocket's mirror to reflect nearly 99.99% of the incoming light. Additionally, it must efficiently transfer energy while rapidly dissipating heat. Once launched, the spacecraft would likely travel through the Alpha Centauri system, but it probably wouldn't get too close to any planets. The exciting aspect of this plan is that once the launch system is in place, more probes could be sent at a reasonable cost. If an armada of spacecraft were sent to neighboring star systems, the potential for discovering Earth-like planets would dramatically increase. After reaching Proxima Centauri, humanity could have an entire star system to explore. Exoplanets, planets orbiting stars beyond our solar system, have revolutionized our understanding of the universe. Since the early 1990s, thousands of exoplanets have been discovered, revealing an astonishing variety of planetary systems. This exploration began in 1992 when scientists first discovered planets orbiting pulsars, remnants of exploded stars. While pulsars are known for their intense radiation and rapid rotation, making them seemingly hostile environments for planet formation, the discovery of pulsar planets was still an intriguing find. The hunt for planets orbiting stars like our Sun continued, and in 1995, the discovery of 51 Pegasi b, an exoplanet orbiting a Sun-like star, marked a significant breakthrough. Located about 50 light-years away in the Pegasus constellation, 51 Pegasi b was a hot Jupiter, a gas giant orbiting very close to its star. This discovery proved that planetary systems could exist around stars other than the Sun, potentially vastly different from our own. Since then, the search for exoplanets has accelerated, aided by advancements in technology and observational techniques. Ground-based telescopes like those at the Keck Observatory in Hawaii have been vital in this effort, but the launch of space-based observatories truly sped up the process. NASA's Kepler Space Telescope, launched in 2009, was especially groundbreaking. Kepler monitored over 150,000 stars in a small patch of the sky, searching for tiny dips in brightness caused by planets passing in front of their host stars. Kepler's mission was a massive success, leading to the discovery of more than 2,600 confirmed exoplanets, along with many other candidates. These findings included a wide variety of planets, from small rocky worlds similar in size to Earth, to massive gas giants much larger than Jupiter. Kepler's data revealed that planets are common in our galaxy, with an estimated one in five sun-like stars hosting an Earth-sized planet in its habitable zone, the region where conditions may be right for liquid water to exist. Among the many exoplanets discovered, several have garnered particular interest due to their potential to support life. These planets are typically Earth-sized or slightly larger, and orbit within their star's habitable zone. One notable example is Kepler 186f, the first Earth-sized planet found in the habitable zone of its star, located about 500 light-years away. 
This planet orbits a red dwarf star and receives about 13% of the energy that Earth gets from the Sun. Its discovery was a major milestone in the search for habitable worlds beyond our solar system. Other missions have built on Kepler's legacy, including NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, TESS, launched in 2018. TESS is surveying nearly the entire sky to identify exoplanets orbiting brighter stars, making it easier for follow-up observations. In the near future, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, will provide even more detailed insights into the atmospheres of exoplanets, potentially revealing signs of habitability or even life. The discovery of exoplanets has profound implications for our understanding of the universe. It suggests that planetary systems are common and that the processes that led to the formation of Earth and the other planets in our solar system are not unique. This raises the tantalizing possibility that life, in some form, may exist elsewhere in the universe. As technology continues to advance and our observational capabilities improve, the study of exoplanets will remain one of the most exciting and dynamic fields in astronomy, bringing us closer to answering the age-old question of whether we are alone in the universe.